democracy in many lands has failed for the time being to meet human needs. People have become so fed up with futile debate and party bickering over methods that they have been willing to surrender democratic processes and principles in order to get things done. They have forgotten the lessons of history, that the ultimate failures of dictatorship cost humanity far more than any temporary failures of democracy. And in the United States, democracy has not yet failed and does not need to fail. The Agricultural Adjustment Act testified to our full faith and confidence that the very nature of our major crops of America makes them articles of commerce between the states. The AAA testified also to our full faith and confidence that the preservation of sound agriculture is essential to the general welfare, that the Congress of the United States had full constitutional authority to solve the national economic problems of the nation's agriculture. And by overwhelming votes, the Congress thought so too. <laughs> you know who assumed the power to veto and did veto that program. In the campaign of 1950, things we have only just begun to fight. Them and their families enough to live on decent. The railroad was finally outlawed as the child labor statute had been outlawed 20 years before. Here, too, we cannot afford, either individually or as a party, to postpone or run away from that fight on the advice of defeatist lawyers. Let them try that advice on sweating men, piling sandbags on the levees in Louisville and Cairo and Memphis. With any reasonable certainty, that what we do will not be nullified as unconstitutional. <laughs> the language of the decisions already rendered, and the widespread, widespread refusal to obey law, incited by the attitude of the courts, create doubts and difficulties for almost everything else for which we have promised to fight. Help for the crippled, for the blind, for the mother, insurance for the unemployed, security for the aged, protection of the consumer against monopoly and speculation, protection of the investor, the wiping out of slums, cheaper electricity for the homes and farms of America. <laughs> and in this fight, as the lawyers themselves say, time is of the essence. <laughs> In three elections, three elections during the past five years, great majorities have approved what we are trying to do. To me, and I am sure to you, those majorities mean that the people themselves realize, realize the increasing urgency that we meet their needs now. Every day, and 